Hello and thanks for watching this short video. It's how to implement bandwidth control in your big IP APM in order to reduce and limit uh, the traffic per user. Today with COVID-19, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of huge pipe in front of our big IP APM and we need to reduce the bandwidth per user. So I will show you in a few minutes how to deploy bandwidth control on your big IP. It's very easy and limit the traffic per user. So first of all, let's make a, a quick test, okay? Without bandwidth control policy attached to my big IP, and first of all, connect to the, the to the VPN. Okay. Now I'm connected to the to my big IP APM. So I'm connected, and let's try to download the file and see the bandwidth. Okay. So as you can see, the bandwidth is more or less two megabytes. Okay, two megabyte. Now I want to reduce this. Uh, this bandwidth to 500k per user. So on a big IP, let's disconnect. You have to create a bandwidth control. It's here, policy, and create a new policy. It's pretty simple. Here you can put a maximum value. It's a static value. I don't use it. Okay, I'm gonna use a dynamic one. So here, the dynamic value. So per user, I want 500 kilobit, not byte, bit per seconds. That's it. I just set up that. Okay. I update and that's it. Now I need to assign to attach this bandwidth policy to my to my conditions. And the condition is uh, the user, the source IP address. So what I'm gonna do, I can't assign a dynamic uh, bandwidth controller uh, to a virtual server in the graphical interface. I need to use an IROL. So let's go to IROL, create a very simple IROL. When client accepted, you can log if you want the source IP address. Bound with BWC policy, attach name of the policy and the factor. My factor is a client IP address. It could be something else. Okay, help you to define your your traffic shipping. Okay, if it's based on the source, based on the destination, or based on on the content, it could be something else. So I just need to assign these I rule to my virtual server, APM virtual server, and that's it. So now when I'm connect to the to the APM, this bandwidth control will be assigned to my session, okay, based on my source IP address. So now if I make a new test, same file, I should not go over 500k, okay, you can see here, downloading, more or less 500k. If I download the third one, It will be the same, okay? I'm still, I'm stick at 500k. And if I try with another tool like, like a W gate, same story, okay? 500k. So every user, every remote worker now is limited to a specific bandwidth in order to reduce the CPU on your big IP APM, when you reduce the bandwidth, you reduce the CPU, okay? So, thanks for watching and see you soon.